one. We're going to take a look at what things would have been like if I had chosen a mad science practitioner or mad scientist. Grognak will be continued. I just got some things to figure out about it. Mostly the fact that the Silver Shroud that seems to be bugged, and until I figure that out, it's going to be on pause for a while. But definitely continued, so don't worry about that. Also, my talking will be limited during the playthrough, just when I'm doing things that don't seem to make sense, or during cuts, not during cutscenes, but during loading screens. Then I'll be talking. When other people are talking, I will be silent, unless I have a witty comment to make, which will be far in between. So without further ado, let's enjoy this playthrough, Sweater Vest Army, and remember... True justice. We'll, we'll discuss true justice a little bit later. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. Oh. Very strapping. Yeah, not bad. Gotta give him his most asserting attribute. The scar he got when he dropped a beaker in the lab. My handsome husband. Gotta be a buff as shit scientist.
Did I mention how much I love that new haircut? What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Oh, God. Hmm. That's my handsome guy. Not bad. Not bad. I guess that means my Grout Knight character has... Which one did I pick? Oh, I don't know, I guess they're the same. Looking good. I clean up pretty nice. There's my strapping husband. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Your eyes. They're one of my favorite things about you. Well, hello, handsome. Such a cute nose. Hun, you think my nose is too big? What's different about you? Well, hello, handsome. Oh, God. I was looking... Yeah, Sean has your smile. I clean up pretty nice. What's up at the top? Mmm. I do love those lips. Looking good, if I do say so myself. You look as good as the day we met. Yeah, not bad. You have such strong cheekbones. Not bad. Not bad. As handsome as the day we met. This new haircut's really working for me.
Hey, did you get a haircut yesterday? It's cute. Oh, huh. there's still something missing. No, I think maybe it's just facial hair. It's the she's turning sixteen in March beard. What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard? Your eyes. That's the reason I said yes when you asked me out. Hey, my turn, big guy. Just doing a little editing of her real quick. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, that works. She is super white. Okay, I was just um let's do color. Uh, not blonde. Wait, did you go to the hairdresser yesterday? Why is that even there? Crazy ass Myrna. Wendy the Butler? You're like this or something. Best here. hairdresser, I swear. Such a cute nose. Well, let's just make all her settings the same as his. For shits and giggles. I think Sean has my eyes. Is it brown now? Yes. You do know you've got the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. I believe it is. That looks nice. And yes, oh god. Looking good, huh? 
But I'll just leave that the way it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, so that's as beautiful as the day we met. Not sold on black. Really red again? I think so, red. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. And let's give her the same color eyes. Yes, I like that. Now we go back. And extras. Sure, make her fiery. Lots of freckles for no reason. Gorgeous. Give her that Boston charm. Get rid of that. This. Wow, oh, they give her a lot of blemishes. I don't understand. I still got it. Sure, I guess. Absolutely lovely. I think that's it. Let me just slide in here. Um, I think my next character will be Nora. Just for fun, if nothing else. Good morning, sir. Your coffee. One hundred and seventy-three point five degrees Fahrenheit. Due to perfection. Damn, Codsworth looks good. Knack the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Look at that shine. That's ridiculous. Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A. Plus. Oh, sounds like someone made a sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. You know, I was nervous huh. at first. How can someone so small really drink so much? That better not mm. be the funny page. We're the same. Bunch of our old holotape recordings. But for the fifth infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. All the easier for our mechanized Hellcats to drive any screaming comments. Can you get that? 
It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning! vault -Tec calling. vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir. And helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Hmm, urgency. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language. You can't say hack on the Christian Minecraft. Oh, wait. It's inevitable, Never I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning. <laughs> now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Yes. One eleven. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups. The kids wouldn't take Cosworth because he'd sort that <laughs> stuff out. Total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Also, that would probably be the last swear of this entire series for me, not them. So, more about this vault. enjoy the game swear. All the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Is it like science that there's mutants in a nuclear sure, fallout or just. Splendid! Splendid! Science fiction. Now, uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, strength. Perception. Endurance. I'm not really sure how this build seems possible. Not sure at all. Let's see if I have my numbers right from what I figured out earlier, and it appears I do accept I miscalculated something. Tesla, did I name that? Did I, did I figure it all that right? Let's see. It's really late. That's why I'm second guessing myself because why wouldn't I? T E S L A. Yes, that should be correct. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just uh, walk this over to the vault. You do that. On being prepared for the future. Um. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hun. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the speech. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to call down. 
I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. A lot of her? Codsworth, go on. I'm so proud of her. Huh. I knew she was a lawyer. I didn't know she had a law degree in the house. Makes sense, though. I wonder if there's anything in here that shows evidence that he was in the military besides the two American flags. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. No need to get dressed twice. Is there still stuff to activate in here that I never did? I think there actually is right in here. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Wonder indeed. And yes, I do plan to use the like your special book in my Grognock playthrough as soon as I can find some day tripper, so I can increase my strength to ten. So I can have twelve strength. <laughs> Um. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Sure, but what's in this closet? It's been bugging me for a long time. Okay. Okay. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see me! Call I'll take my time. What's wrong? Go ahead. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? Can't wait to teach him to ride this. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Should get this signed next time we're at the park. <laughs> the glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. Oh followed boy! By, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do. Oh, we no. do have. We do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Codsworth, stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir? Uh, Residents of Sanctuary God. Hills, really if you are registered... Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, You two, man. follow me. God Come on. Us all. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Now, now! Shut it down now! Hold on! Oh god. Oh 
Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. Vault 10 is here for you. No, no, we don't. Don't get oh, to this way. Female This one is good. Step over to the table. Take a suit. You'll need your suits okay. before we uh, can take you further. Pick up a thanks. Suit right over there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. This See? way, please. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God. What if they How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get off the list as they come in. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. <laughs> Do something about the squeaky chair.
come on, come on, come on. Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Giant roaches? What the hell? I never came back for this. Probably should have. Right. Why is there a shower? Oh, it's got curtains. Still, uh, oh. Where is everyone? Oh, open evacuation tunnel. later for you. I don't know if I can sell the red or me. Is this all that's left? Is 
Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. This game is still a lot of fun. <sighs> okay, let's take a gander and see what's going on. Wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. That's not where I want to be. There's Nuka Cola there. I find that weird. Let's go home. Okay, let's see what I have. Let's get done with here.
that's why. Geraniums. I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. She can't be dead. She can't be. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, are... It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> No. No, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Not 200 years. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings <laughs> on <the> chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. Nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house! <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. <sighs> I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A hollow tape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. Picking up hostile life signs.
senses are picking up movement in another house. If I only had a bobby pin. He isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. Hmm. Cheer you, Codsworth. I'm afraid that's all we have time for this episode. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, even though no one's watching currently. And hopefully I'll be able to keep bringing stuff to you guys like this. And I haven't decided if I'm going to show any time I scrap the neighborhood. Probably not, because it takes a bit of time. Well, I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, have a good day, morning, and afternoon. And night.